Zeek Analytics is a powerful tool to do the product research on eBay to find the fast selling high profit products. In this video, I'm going to show you a step by step guide to find the fast selling product, which will have a high profit by using the tool called Zeek Analytics. So let's get started. So once we log into Zeek Analytics, this is how everything going to look like on the dashboard. On the top right corner right here, we have 500 best selling items. Here they will narrow down to v on to weekly basis as well. You can look at that one and you can filter that by price, by sale, by country, depending on, you know, however you want to do it that's going to be entirely up to you. I do not follow 500 best selling item, even though they are very useful. And I do not follow the weekly best sellers as well. They are really, really useful. But only problem is I don't want to end up competing with other sellers who might have access to same list as well. So I like to do my own product research using the powerful Zeek Analytics product research method as well. I will go through each and every one of sections right here on the left hand side you can see right here as well but the thing is in order for us to actually find a hot selling product we really need to learn how to use this tool so by the end of this video you will have a complete skill of how to find the hot selling product by yourself as well so first thing what we need to do is we need to come right here you can see on the on the on the left hand side we have an option called quick setting once we open the option called quick setting here the couple of settings we have to change depending on our requirement so i am in united kingdom i have selected united kingdom and what will be your source website zeek analytics can also help you find the product in a wholesale a business model and can also help you find the products in the drop shipping business model as well so depending on where you want to source your product from i will go through every one of them we can actually select that one as our source website at the moment i'm just going to leave it to alibaba.com but i will explain it with cj drop shipping i will explain it with aliexpress and then i will just apply these settings right here on the on the uh, left hand side once we save this setting the next thing that we will have to do is let's say first you have no idea whatsoever what you are going to sell what your niche is going to be you you just simply have no idea whatsoever so you just come on to category niche first right here here depending on what was the sale in last 30 days and depending on the location like for me i selected united kingdom Zeek Analytics have this data which is really really useful and it will break down to categories and subcategories as well. So you can normally get a really good idea what category is doing really really well and based on that category we will start finding the hot selling product in that particular category as well. So this data right here is really really helpful for the people who have no idea and they want to select their niche first of all. What we will do is let's say I want to start selling watches i want to start something which in a watch category i will just then i will go on the product to research this was the one we are talking about this was the category research now we're going to go to product research so we will go to product research here a couple of things again we can select united kingdom is as our uh, shipping location i just want to see fixed prices i don't want to see auctions so i will click on fixed prices and i, I just want to see brand new item we can actually see the data from last 21 days 14 days 7 days i will normally select 30 days because that will give me access to the wide range of data so I will then type right here, let's say I'm interested in uh, watches for men. I will select that one and then what the Zeek Analytics will do, they will scan all the data on the eBay and they will try to filter it depending on the sales of the item, depending on, uh, you know, average price of the item all that kind of stuff as well. the first thing which i normally like to look at is the trend in men watches 
if you see a trend and it is probably spiking all the way up and then if it's going down all the way it's not really a good idea to go in that particular niche as well I want to see a consistency, little bit peaks are fine, but you don't want to be the peak to go all the way up and then all of the sudden the product is not selling. So in the terms of if we was probably looking at face mask, face mask during the time of uh, uh, March 2020, probably the sale was really up and the graph will be all the way up and then the sale will go really down. We don't want to go to in that particular category because it's it's really really less risky it's not it's not really ideal to invest money in those kind of things as well then we also want to see that if that spectrum right here the people who are already selling based on this graph is not heavily dominated by one particular seller the little bit of sales coming from one seller is fine. You will normally see that. But if it was like, I, I don't know, 70, 80% dominated by one seller, we don't want to go in that particular category as well. Overall, this is fine. The total sale under the keyword uh, man watch was uh, 21,000. Zeek Analytics have pulled up 100 listings as well. Here, a lot of people do it wrong. The reason they do it wrong, they will filter this one with the total sale. They will try to see, okay, what item is selling a lot. And all of a sudden, they're going to be like, okay, this item is sold uh, 2,650 times. So this is the product which is really, really hot selling. I'm going to try to find a supplier. I'm going to try to sell this product as well. What did they ignore is the seller. So if we go ahead and we, and we open this seller right here, what we're going to find out is this seller already have 13,030 feedback, which is received on their uh, eBay store uh, overall in general. Overall, they have eight, over 80,000 feedback and in, in one month, they are getting 824 feedback, which means they are selling a lot of item. So if we jump into this particular item right here, we have a seller who have a lot of feedback already and we have a seller who might have access to more capital, might have a, a, a good information about the suppliers. So that's not what I try to do in the beginning. What we are trying to find out is I will filter this one with the feedback first. I'm trying to find the seller who might have a less feedback, but they are getting decent sale as well. So I filter normally this one with the feedback first, not at the base of total sale, not at the base of price as well. So I will start looking. Obviously, in the beginning, you will find the sellers with a zero, zero, zero. We will keep on going down where we will be able to find the decent sale. At the same time, you have to keep in mind that Zeek Analytics give you these kind of data right here as well. It will tell you that this might be a risky item because uh, they are using probably a branded item. So in this case, they have used the word Casio inside. Uh, Zeek Analytics also uh, analyzed and highlighted that using the word military, which I don't think it's going to be a lot of problem, that could be a problem as well. And uh, another like a branded name and all that kind of stuff as well. So you don't want to go in, even though the sale for this one is 18. I mean, definitely come on. This is like a boss watch is a, is, a, is a complete replica. So it's just a matter of time when the eBay will catch them and they will block their account. You don't want to particularly go into these kind of uh, uh, categories as well. So I will keep on going down, keep on going down, keep on going down until I find the seller who will have a decent sale and they are not selling the product which is like a, a copycat or any kind of stuff as well. So I came down right here, this seller, just 559 feedback is really catching my eye. They have 36 sales of this item, which Zeek Analytics have highlighted the word red, which is not really a problem because they have a red color watch so it's not really going to be issue for us so what i'm gonna do 
is first of all let's open their item and we will try to see what they are selling what the sale is all that kind of stuff as well so this item is getting 38 views per day and then 63 of them already has been sold this is almost a new seller 559 uh, feedback on their store and if we go on to their sales we like to look if they are getting decent sales or not so today uh, by the time when i'm recording this video is 21 april they have sold one item on 21 april then the sales is consistent 18 april 13 april 11 it's just a matter of that product will get picked up more and the sale which will, will really spike up but 14.99 for this watch and they are new seller and they have sold 62 of them in total it's looking like a good sign to me so everything looks fine right here on this listing now what we will do that we will try to find the supplier and buying price on alibaba just to check if that item will be worth selling for us or not so what zeek analytic will do they will give you a link right here you just simply click on this alibaba sign and zeek analytics will try to find the similar item through the uh, the images on alibaba as well and it will give you a couple of links right here what i found out sometime you might not be able to find the exact product right here so in that case what you need to do just simply close it and then run it again and it will refresh the search and you will be able to find what you're looking for so some of the images pop up right here if still it doesn't pop up simply click on right here search the photo on alibaba and it will search the photo on alibaba and a lot of link from the supplier will pop up right here so as you can see it's exactly the similar watch right here let me go back to zeek analytics and i will show you this was uh, the item that we was looking for from the ebay seller this is the image on that and then we have a similar product right here as well so if we open this one for example we got this one in a blue color that one they have a color which is uh, red i believe right so let's look for the red one yeah right here this is number 13 you can see this is the exact picture of the same product as well same name uh, the, the the band let's check the the watch band is same as well so this is just a different image of the same product right here as well now we can calculate our if this item will be worth selling or not so even if we go for the we're not you know going for over 100,000 pieces we are going for something which is uh we're gonna start at minimum rate as well so if we go for the same color let's say i want to buy 50 of them just to start with right just for uh because this is in stock it is ready to dispatch as well if i want to buy 50 of them including the shipping this will cost me one pound and uh, 127 if i add let's say customs on the top as well uh, shipping is already included if i add customs on the top as well it's gonna come to probably 170 so if it's 170 we're quickly gonna open our calculator right if the total price is 170 what i will do 170 and then we're gonna divide that one by 50 so we will get our item uh, price per one so this is uh, three pound and 40 pence it will be our cost price so we can quickly calculate if this is something that we will be able to sell and make profit out of it so i'm gonna go ebay and paypal fee calculator right i will open our ebay and paypal fee calculator and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move myself right here the selling price for from that particular buyer we have seen on eBay right here is actually fourteen ninety nine, right? So we will put right here uh, the price which will be fourteen ninety nine. Let's say we will offer a little bit cheaper in order to beat the price as well. We'll go for thirteen ninety nine, right? And then the shipping charge we're gonna offer free shipping just like other seller. If we are posting this item with Hermes, 
uh, even if they have a box or all that kind of stuff, it's going to be three pound. If it's a, a large letter, it will be cheaper. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going with the Hermes. We will go for that. And then the cost of our item was three pound and 40 pence. So we will do three pound and 40 pence. And still this item is making over five pound profit at the same time. We are just investing in 50 of them. So you know, it's it's not really a bigger investment. So that was the prices on Alibaba, which have a really, really decent profit margin. But let's say we want to do drop shipping. We don't want to buy in bulk. So what we can simply do is look into buying this product from AliExpress. Use AliExpress as our drop shipping supplier, which obviously going to take longer time for this product to get delivered to UK. But we will be able to offer the more cheaper price because the delivery times are going to be longer. So at the end, the buyer can make a decision. Either they want to buy for $14.99 or probably we will be able to offer cheaper than that as well. So what we will do normally if you are uh, interested in drop shipping, you're not interested buying in Alibaba, you can just come back to quick setting right here. And then rather than doing which I done Alibaba, now I will select AliExpress or I will select CJ Dropshipping and try to find out if they have a similar product or not. I already selected AliExpress, so what we're gonna do is just gonna simply click right here. And now this, uh, uh, what the, this one gonna do, it gonna try to find out the, the product from aliexpress so it's given me the first link which looked like uh, is is our product so i'm just going to open that one and try to find out the price for this one this is exactly the same item two pound and 72 pence is the highest price and this one does offer a free shipping as well uh, that will even come down the price cheaper than alibaba as well so even if we start the product at 9.99 we are still making more profit and still able to offer five pound cheaper price than this particular supplier as well now the thing is this is for one product just to save bit of time which i do you know really cleverly zeek analytics have this feature where you can scan the other seller and try to find their other products which are selling really well as well so this is a new seller they have uh, done decent product research this product is really really good for them now what i i, I can do I, I will scan this seller and try to see what they are selling so i clicked on the logo in front of that and what this one gonna do is going to scan this particular seller so get more idea what we need to do is just we found this one right here which is another color so we know we can add this color on the top of red color as well just repeat the process so you will be keep on looking at other different products as well and other different sellers at the same time once you find a product from one particular suppliers just scan that seller using the Zeek Analytics scan selling tool and you will be able to find different different things from there as well. What I will do, I will leave the link for the Zeek Analytics inside the description by using that link and the discount code which will be available next to that link. Don't forget to use that discount code. You will get discount on a Zeek Analytics as well. So check that link inside the description 